hoping to get back thousands. Honestly, it's kind of been a waiting game. A family's plan to rebuild their barn is put on hold after their contractor goes radio silent. This is not how you operate. This is just, it's not how you treat other human beings. Tonight, Contact Denver 7 is digging into this Colorado business, finding out other customers have also been burned. Anytime that we hear someone call and they mention this company, we already know the story. Now, those impacted are calling for state leaders to step in. I think the Attorney General's office is going to have to get involved further than they already have. And that is where we start tonight. A caution about a Colorado contractor taking money and yet failing to do the work they were hired for. Now, Contact Ever 7 CB Cotton spent the past month looking into this business and found a trail of broken dreams, broken promises, and Coloradans out lots and lots of money. A business doesn't generally do that unless you're aching for that money. Erin Christine has learned a lot about business recently. Lessons learned when she hired a general contractor to rebuild her barn. What she got, she says, is a whole lot of heartache. It's really funny because donkeys are often used as therapy animals to where I think that they're like, oh, mom's upset. <laughs> They're like, let's all do some therapy with her. Erin Christine says her problem started when a fire destroyed the barn she uses for her remodeling business. She hired this company, Steel Building Manufacturing LLC, based in Franktown, to rebuild it. We found the business on the Secretary of State's website, registered to a Donald Steinke. I'm hopeful that he's going to do the right thing, but looking at his track record and his history, I absolutely severely doubt that. Christine says in December she paid him 17 grand as a deposit, but she says several months later in June, no work had been done. All the while, she says Steinke told her the steel was on back order. Her husband decided to take matters into his own hands. It ultimately came down to my husband making a phone call to the actual steel company. Christine says the steel manufacturer Heritage Building Systems told her they weren't having supply issues. Their issue, she says, was with Steinke, who wasn't answering their emails and phone calls. Frustrated, Christine decided to cancel the project altogether. She says Heritage committed to refunding 13 grand, but had to send it to Steinke since they contracted with him and he's the one who paid them. So it was mailed out June 22nd. His response on July 7th was, my bank put a hold on it. You'll get your money when I have it. With the problems continuing, Christine reached out to Heritage and she says they sent her this record of the process check showing that it had been cleared. This is not how you operate. This is just, it's not how you treat other human beings. We did some digging and discovered several other people feel Steinke didn't treat them well either. Take a look. There are more than a dozen civil complaints filed against Steinke from Delta County to Douglas, Elbert, El Paso, Jefferson, and more. They date back to 2000. We probably get calls on this company oh, somewhere between three to six times a year. Todd Collins, an Elizabeth-based attorney, says he's represented several clients in their civil suits against steel building manufacturing. Their stories sound a lot like Christine's. The story is, you know, I placed a deposit with this company to, for a steel building, and I can't get this guy to call me back. And I've tried to cancel my contract. He won't give me my money back. Collins filed this suit against the business last fall. He says his client got back some of the money he was owed, but it wasn't until police got involved. And that seems to be the pattern. If you contact law enforcement and if law enforcement gets involved, you get your deposit back. Or if you file a case, you get your deposit back. But here's the catch. Collins says many who've been burned can no longer afford legal fees. Probably. 90% of these cases uh, don't proceed because of lack of funding for a legal battle. Colin says people have lost money and dreams after getting wrapped up with Steinke. Our clients were forced to sell the land that they were going to build their new house on. I think the Attorney General's office is going to have to get involved further than they already have. We emailed and called Steinke looking for answers. He called us back and said Christine will get her refund by September 12th. Remember, the Czech Heritage Building Systems sent him cleared in early July. It's Can we put unfortunately, that I guess, part of life and lessons that you learn. CB Cotton, Denver 7. And if you ever have a story you want Contact Denver 7 to investigate, don't hesitate to call the number on your screen or you can email contact7 at thedenverchannel.com.